Okay, so we'll go over questions on the on the sector. Okay. So just a few things that you need to understand is I think the beauty about this topic is uh, just know two formulas which are that the length or the arc length in this case this this part uh, L is given as a product of the radius and theta whenever you are dealing with radians and then know that the area is given as half r squared multiplied by theta just these two formulas you are good to go the other part is just you now trying to understand, interpret whatever you are given each time for you to be able to get the answer. Okay? Now let's see how we can basically answer this question. Okay, so it didn't take time for me to sit and think about this. This is very easy. So we'll go step by step. Okay, let's see. So they want us to find the perimeter of a shaded region. The perimeter is going to be us determining PQ this length plus the arc length then we're good to go so I'll start with the simplest I know the arc length since we've been given the angle and the radius which is 12 we should be able to answer right so let's first of all determine the arc length so L is equal to I said it's the product of the, ra the radius by the angle of it right so the radius is 12 and then multiply by 0 0.9 so 12 by 0 0.9 10.8 so that is our arc length so what else do we need to find so we found the arc length now the beauty is we are given a triangle a right angle triangle for that matter so how can we find the length of PR okay so we can use Sokato right Now in terms of the angle that we have, the side we want to find is opposite to that angle. So you can use the sine part of the Sokator. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite, we call it x, over the hypotenuse, um, which we'll call, in this case it's the radius as you can see. That is the hypotenuse. Okay? So if we were to express that, we're going to have sine of the angle 0 0.9 equal to x over 12 so you can just cross and multiply so that our x is equal to 12 times that okay now where we're dealing with radians so it's important that your calculator is in radians so place mode on your calculator and then place mode again so there's one for degree two for radians three for i don't know so place two for radians rad r a d so my calculator is already in radians so 12 sine 0 0.9 so my value of x if you've taken your calculator to radians the value of x you should find is 9.399 okay that's what you should find so this is the length of RP so I found the length of RP okay so what do we need so we just need now QP then we'll find the perimeter so how do you find QP so we know that from O all the way to the arc at that point Q that is also the radius so this is 12 now so if we can find this part, we're able to subtract from the 12, then we would have found the difference. So we've already found this part to be 9.399, and then this is 12. So we know this is the hypotenuse from the Pythagoras theorem. We know that 12 squared minus 9.399 squared should be able to give us the other side. We can call it y squared. So 12 squared minus the answer we have squared and then the square root of 55. So the value of y is approximately 7.4593 to, to 5 significant figures. So we found the value of RP. We've also find the found the length of PO. So 
sorry, we found the length of POS, this is PO. Now we are interested in the QP, which is the difference between the radius OQ and PO. So if we remove the 7.4 we have from the 12, the answer that I'm getting as the length of QP is 4.5406. Okay, so I hope you've understood whatever I've done because that's very important. So now, for us to find the to find the perimeter, we're going to add our perimeter is going to be equal to. So first of all, the arc length, which is RQ plus RP plus QP. So we have RQ which is the arc length to be 10.8 RP which is 9.399 and then plus QP which is 4.5406 so grab your calculator 10.8 plus 9.399 plus 4.5406 so approximately we have like 24.7396 centimeters so that is for A. For B, we have to find the area of a shaded region. The area of a shaded region. So we know we have two formulas here that we can use. So since we know we can find the entire area of a sector, if we can remove the area of a triangle, then what we are going to get is this part. So the area of a sector, which is the entire part, is given as half r squared of theta. Now we'll subtract the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle, this is the right angle triangle. Half bh can work. Okay. So then we are good. Now we know we don't use the opposite side. We don't use the hypotenuse in finding the area if you are using half bh. So the breadth and the height can be these two other sides. Okay, because remember when you have this triangle in this form, for your area use these two parts if you are using half bh. Okay. So therefore, this side rp is 9.399. Qp is, or pq is the other value we had found which was something like 7, right? Because from 12, if we remove the 4.5, 406. So approximately the PQ value that we had found was something like 7.4594. And then the RP, the PR is 9.399. So you can use the 2 to find the area. So the area so we have half, our radius is 12 squared, the theta is 0 0.9, minus half bh, the breadth can take it to be 9.399, and then the height we can take it to be 7.4594. So grab your calculator, 0 0.5, 12 squared, Multiply by 0 0.9 plus, oh, that is minus, minus 0 0.5, 9.399, multiply by 7.4594. So, we have 29.74 centimeters squared as the area of the shaded region. So we just found the area of the entire sector and then subtract the area of the triangle. The difference is the shaded region. So key takeaway points, the formula, alpha r squared theta for the area of the sector. And then the arc length is QR.